reason that I want to solder all these joints is because we'll use a terminal like this. It's a non-insulated terminal. We'll solder it and then we'll use a piece of heat shrink like this, slide it over the wire first and uh, it'll slip over the whole deal and kind of look like that when it's done. But it insulates the connection a lot better and to have a soldered joint is a much better way than just using a butt connector and uh, crimping it on there. I mean, you have a completely sealed, insulated connection that isn't going to be penetrated by any kind of corrosion or, or water or anything like that. So first I'm going to put a little bit of flux on the wire just to help draw the solder into the to the joint. And I already have my heat shrink on the, the wire. Don't forget to put that on there. I've done that far too many times. So then I crimp it first to compress this um, terminal on the wire like that and then I'm just gonna solder it on there so I start out by just putting a small amount of solder on the tip of the iron like that I'll just put the iron underneath the joint like this and heat up the whole solder joint kinda wait till I see the flux bubble just a little bit and then just like this I melt the whole assembly and it's completely insulated now and I can put the heat shrink on there and finish the connection I'm just going to use the heat from my soldering iron here pull this insulation up around the connection and then shrink that tubing on there just like that and so now we have a really nice insulated connection that's just like OEM